So we're going to finish up the week at Fakenham with the last four races of the day. Race 36 is going to, six is going to be the Fakenham Silver Cup Handicap Chase. Over two miles and all to 120. So, Kroliev Dobrovny for Thomas Rogers is our top weight. Rule the seas for Paul Rhodes and Seductress. Not broke yet for John Morgan. Fires at midnight for Martin Leenham. Valmina Tate for David Robertson. Norcroft Mountain for James Shea along with Baylow Clasp. Houston Battle for Vinnie Gerard. Operation Blue Bell for Pontypool Racing. Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry. An Oscari History for Ben Benici make up 12. Over this two miles. A couple of big trainers in here for a 0 to 120. Starter's got him away. So he raced left handed to start. He pushed along to hold the lead is Seductress. Brilliant melody on his inside as they tack over towards the route. Approach the first of the seven flights they have to take over this two miles, and it's a fair old pace been set by Seductress. So Seductress from Brilliant Melody. They're about three lengths away from the chasing pack now. It will the Caesar Scarry history and not broke yet. And the ones leading that out wide is Martin Needham's fires at midnight. Wide is still being pushed along his Operation Bluebell. This Seductress has set a blistering pace here. And it's Seductress leads by a couple from Brilliant Melody. And we've got Rule the Seas, a Scarry history on the inside, the first of the greys. They get to the first of the flights, he jumps it well, Seductress but still leads by a couple of lengths from brilliant melody of Alex Cherry then his stable mate will the seas Ascari history for Ben Benici up against the fence then the first of the green silks Norcroft Mountain then Corriere Dubrovny the top weight out wide is Martin Leedham's fires at midnight then we've got the grey of John Morgan's not broke yet on the outside of that is Baylo class up against the fence is Houston Battle and David Robertson's Valmina Tate and then just this Operation Bluebell for Grey Grass has gone a bit wide and been pushed along most of the race they get to the second and they all fly over that and it's still this seductress leads swinging left handed now as we come down to the first through the first mile and it's seductress leads by five from all the season second brilliant melodies third knock off mountain and oscari history of fourth and fifth they go over the third they will take that well slow jump at the rear by not broke yet and shuffles back into last position but it's the seductress that leads us seductress by a length and a half to two from brilliant melody rule the seas Norcroft mountain they go over the fourth and then they go three to jump and it's Seductress that still leads we're inside the final mile and it's Seductress from Brilliant Melody, Rule the Seas Norcroft Mountain and Oscari History the Grey, out wide the other Grey Houston Battle, David Robertson's Valmina Tate moving well up on the inside out wide is still Martin Leedham's Fire at midnight, wider still Great Clutterbuck's Operation Bluebell so as they race left handed it's still Seductress Oscari History trying to close the gap moving out of the pack again is Rule the Seas Alex Cherry's Brilliant Melody up against the fence, they go over the fifth so with just two to jump it's Seductress from Oscari History running on well now is Norcroft Mountain for James Shea on the outside so inside the five furlongs and it's Seductress over the penultimate jumps it well Oscari History on his outside teammate Rule the Seas just in third then we've got uh, Brilliant Melody not broke yet is making a dash for it now the grey from John Morgan but it's Seductress for Paul Rose that still leads inside the final half mile Oscari History for company but it's Seductress pulls away again as we come down to the the next and it's Seductress from Oscari History not broke yet there's only just the one flight to take and it's Seductress that leads inside the three Seductress here come the greys of Houston Battle and not broke yet but Seductress is still holding everybody off as we come inside the quarter mile and it's Seductress approaching the last one Houston Battle who's moved up really well on the outside and it's Houston Battle that's going to take it up running into the last and Houston Battle amazingly big jump jumps himself into a four length advantage inside the final furlong the one that's just given away as Seductress obviously shot a bolt a little bit too early it's this Houston battle of Vin Gerard that's going to take this from John Morgan's not broke yet Valmina take for David Robertson's going to be third as I said there's some top trainers in there it was proved with the with the finishing order Alex obviously gave those ones a little bit too much of uh, too much. He's won that convincing Houston battle from not broke yet. And Valmina Tate, they're yards away from the rest of the field. Norcroft Mountain got up for fourth. We'll wait for the card to come up. So Houston battle for Vidi Gerard. Well done. Picks up and up. Not broke yet for John Morgan was second. Valmina Tate for Dave Robinson was third. Norcroft Mountain got up for fourth for James Shea. And Operation Bluebell that ran wide throughout got up for fifth.